Welcome to the Kristen Starfish Show, the show that invites you to explore all the beautiful sea creatures out there. I'm your host, Kristen. This is my trusty starfish. Now today, we're gonna learn about those beautiful, huge fish with a beak-like mouth. Yeah, let's go learn about parrotfish. Time to take a dive. Let's put on our mask and snorkel. All right, thanks for taking this dive with me. Today, we're gonna take a deep dive into the world of parrotfish. Yeah, are you ready to explore the incredible facts about these remarkable underwater artists? Let's dive in. Now, parrotfish are like nature's graffiti artists. Yeah, they nibble on coral, grinding it with their beak-like teeth to, to reach all the algae and tiny organisms within. You can actually hear the crunching on the reef. Yeah, as they do that, they leave behind these colorful, intricate patterns right into the reef. It's like saying, yep, I was here. All right, parrotfish come in a dazzling array of colors. These shades aren't just for show, they do serve a purpose. They help parrotfish blend in with their surroundings and makes the reef a living masterpiece. Okay, how many parrotfish can you see? One, two, three, four. Yeah, they have the wedged tail. That's how you can recognize them. Now, not only do parrotfish create living artwork on the reef, but they're also skilled sand sculptures. They feed on coral, and then, yeah, after they digest it and all the algae, they poop out tiny sand. Yeah, that's how sandy beaches are formed. I bet you'll think about that next time you're at the beach, hey? They're like Mother Nature's landscapers. Parrotfish have fascinating gender-blending love stories. They start life as females, and as they grow, some will transition into males to maintain balance. Yeah, not only do they change color, they'll actually change sex. How cool is that? The artists are also really good reef cleaners. Yeah, parrotfish have coral grazing abilities, so they help control growth of algae which can take over a reef. They are very important at maintaining balance on the coral ecosystem. Let's finish up by checking out some pictures of the biggest parrotfish. Yeah, this is the bumphead parrotfish. They are truly spectacular when you get to see them on the reef. Sometimes they're in huge schools like here. Wow, that is so cool to see. And there you have it, fellow fish admirers. These marvelous creatures play an essential role in the life and vibrancy of coral reefs. Dive safely and continue to uncover the beauty that lies beneath the water. Thanks for taking this dive with me. Hey, krill. I love everything about being at sea. And I was reminded recently about the important role that a lighthouse can have to safely guide a ship home. Now, it's really important as parents that we need to be lighthouses for our kids but also our children can be lighthouses for their friends. It's important to be that source of support and encouragement as we try and navigate these rough seas. You know, if I'm not at sea, what's my favorite activity? Yep, let's go searching in the sand. All right, everyone. I've got an exciting episode of searching in the sand today. I just got the call from the Coast Guard I'm told there's four sea creatures that have washed up on the beach. Can you help me find them? We've got our bucket and a shovel and our rake. What else is on our bucket? Oh look, an umbrella and a fishy. All right, what should we use today for searching in the sand? Should we try our green rake? I think that's a great idea. All right, let's see what we can find, hey? <gasps> What's this? <gasps> it looks like a whale shark. Whoa. I bet he 
wants to get back in the water. Let's see what else we can find. fish. I think you want to get back in the water too. <gasps> What's this? Stegosaurus? You're not a sea creature. Whoa! And last but not least, we found a lobster! Amazing! Thanks so much for helping me search in the sand today, guys. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for tuning in to the Kristen Starfish Show. Remember, just keep swimming towards your dreams. I hoped you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And remember, in a world of angry sharks, let's be a starfish. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.